welcome to day 10 of css 3 in 10 days so this is the last day so let us go ahead and the first project which we are going to create today is for blurry effect so in this what we are i have already gone ahead and created a blurry effect folder in which we have index.html and sandbox.css and this index.html uh, what it have it have a section then a div with depth gallery and there are uh, four images which we are getting randomly from unsplash you can get from some other service also so they're 350 into 200 so uh, let's go ahead to our sandbox.css and start coding so first we will target the section which is wrapping everything section and we are going to have border here 2px solid black and then a bit of box shadow 005px RGBA 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.3 let me save it yeah and it is there then after that depth gallery the position will be relative this play will be in line block and then after that inside the depth gallery we are targeting each images so dot depth gallery img border is 7 px solid fff then so we got this borders for this images box shadow 0 0 5 px RGBA 0 0.0 0 0.0.0.3 0 .0 let me save it so we have this nice box shadow then cursor is pointer so when we move over it we get this pointer and transition is filter 0 0.3 sec linear and transform is 0 0.3 sec linear so let me save it and uh, then after that depth gallery hover img so this depth gallery hover means we when when we will be inside this box so and we are targeting the image when we are doing that so that is important to understand filter Blur, I'm blurring it 5px and transform scale 0 0.9. Let me save it. We come here, and when I'm moving inside, it is blurring it and scaling it down also. So let us put the other code which is dot depth gallery then image when this is image hovering when i am going over the image then filter blur is zero and transform 
scale is 1.1 .1. we save it come here so when I come inside the box it will blur like this but when I move my mouse over it it will come up and the blur will go come up blur will come up blur will come up blur will go so this completes our first project for the day and so let me dispose it now so the next project is coffee cup for which also we have index.html and sandbox.css so we are going to create a nice coffee, coffee cup completely in css so not much because everything we are going to create it it will be through css only so we have h4 coffee cup okay let me go live so yeah we have a h4 a coffee cup and then a div of coffee and everything inside it handle coffee cup and blue inside it so we are going to create it so let me go ahead and uh, where is my sandbox.css so here i'm first targeting the coffee dot coffee I'm making it position as relative dot handle. Next, we are going to get, go, go for the handle back ground image is linear gradient 180 degree comma let me have some styling and uh, here yeah rgb 200 comma 200 comma 200 five percent okay i don't want it like this have it here okay let me have two more this. so the second one will be 255 255 55 and it will be at 50 percent this one will be at 95 percent this one be 200 200 200 save it nothing will come because we have to add some more things so yeah box shadow is 5 px 0 px 1 px 0 px rgba 200 comma 200 comma 200 comma 0 0.8 position is absolute Spelling is wrong. Is box shadow top? So we have made the parent as a relative for this region only, so that we can make it absolute. Fifty percent. So till we give a width, nothing comes. Width is one twenty seven px. Height is fifty. PX. So it is coming border radius is 50 px yeah and our handle is coming 
so after that we are going to make the coffee cup so it is also inside this this coffee cup we are going to target now coffee cup for this position is relative width is 462 pixel height is 462 pixel border radius is 50% so that it can be completely round z index or z index is 3 we save it and the cup is there but we need to add some colors to it or else it will not be shown so let us do that background image i am going to use both of them like this only so let me copy it but it will not be linear gradient it will be radial gradient and radial gradient we give 50 percent 50 percent this will be 14 7 0 65 185 144 18 75 let me save some yeah it is coming so this is coming like this we have to do some more fixes 129 129 129 it will also be at 75 so it is taking shape now we want two more two fifty five two fifty five two fifty five this will be at ninety five and uh, last one 161 161 and 161 at 100 percent and then the Then we have to give the box shadow. So let's give the box shadow shadow 10 px 35 px 30 px 7 px 49 49 49 .1 we save it and it is now the issue is this was that i forgot to remove this last comma so this is very important to not have this comma or this doesn't work so here also you can see last one is not there let me save it and the cup will come so the next thing which we are going to do we are going to create for view so what is view so as you might have guessed this is the image of the coffee from the top so this is the uh, black coffee and out outside this this layer is there so 
generally there is one more layer which is here for a copy if you take it from the top so we are going to create for that so let me go ahead and uh, let me do for view again the position is absolute not relative position is absolute and then let me have uh, everything at the right place first top 50 percent left 70 px trans form translate y is minus 50 percent and strn is transform yeah then with this 316 px height is 316 px and uh, z index is 4 the highest till now so and uh, it will also be a circle so border radius is 50% and then now the background image background image is linear gradient 140 degree comma r g b 0 comma 0 comma 0 0 percent comma r g b 52 comma 26 comma 0 100 percent let me bring it top only it's okay yeah so save it box shadow is 5 px 5 px 0 px 0 px rgba 252 comma 230 2 comma 185 comma 0.55 where that is going okay yeah it is right let me save it yeah so now this thing is coming so this is the view so the last thing is that our uh, where is your handle so everything is complete but where is the handle handle is actually behind this behind our for that handle let me do one thing we have to because it won't appear because we're using everything like position and everything so for the handle to come we have to go back to our handle this handle and here first right is 860 px and then transform translate y minus 
percent so it is again i think it is not showing yeah it is showing so see so this is not a complete uh, responsive thing so you need to find a way to make it responsive but see it is now here i can move it here so see our cup is complete so this completes our 10 days of css3 hope you like this see you soon for the next series